if this works. I love how Adele's talking about when we were young and she's 25. Okay, like, yay. You're still young. It works, it works. Okay, literally. Um, okay, hey you guys, join, welcome. Um, hey everybody, comment who you are, where you're from. I love to see um, where who everybody's uh, representing. Comment who you are, where you're from. Hey everybody, hey Valerie, hey Katie, Oregon, awesome, Denver, yay, hey Valerie, Houston, Clarksville, awesome, hey Kyler. Hey Natalie. Oh, Louisiana. I love the NOLA girls. Crossville. Hey Deb. Tampa, Phoenix. Awesome. Oh my gosh, Paris. Yay. That's exciting. Okay. So really quickly, you guys, I want to talk about procrastination. I'm on the way um, to pick up uh, Kylie and I just wanted to talk about procrastination and what what that really is. Okay, why do you procrastinate? Why do we put things off? And why do we, you know, not get stuff done that we know we want to do? And especially with our businesses, but just in life in general. Um, so I, what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to, I, I forgot to take my location off. So you guys are going to have to bear with me. We're going to have some crazies. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so what I want to talk about is why we procrastinate things and how you need to stop doing that in order to work your business and have a successful business um, and run your business successfully. I am the queen of this in my life, in my personal life. Um, but I, I've really been trying to be more intentional with my business and that is going to be the theme from Mark, our CEO. Um, with um, just being more intentional in your business and working it truly with, you know, a goal and an end result in mind. Okay, so why we procrastinate? People procrastinate. Hey, Kaylin. Hey, girl. Um, you guys invite your followers if you're just joining. We're going to talk about why you procrastinate things. So what happens is, let's just take, for example, my room. Okay. I am the queen of not wanting to clean my room. I hate cleaning my room so much and I put it off and put it off and put it off. Because why? Because in my head, I'm thinking it's going to be so hard. It's going to be so much. I'm going to have to like, it's going to take me all day and it's just going to be too much. I, I can't do it. I don't have time. I've got to do this. I've got to do this other thing. I've got all these other more important things to do than clean my room, right? And I just keep putting it off and putting it off. And I'm like, I'll just, I'll, I'll do it Saturday. I'll do it Monday. I'll do it Wednesday night. I'll do it whenever, right? Because you just, in your head, you're thinking it's such a huge task. It's such a big deal. It's so hard. Yeah, I don't have enough time. I'm too busy. I've got more important things to do. So you put it off, right? You, you make an excuse, you put it off. Exactly, that's me too. So give me some hearts if that's you guys, because I know that you guys procrastinate something, whether it's like if you're in school, if it's homework, or if it's something for your job, procrastinating, you know, a project or something. I procrastinate cleaning my room or yeah, we, we blame people, we blame things. Oh, the kids are crazy tonight, I can't do it or whatever, right? So in our heads, we're putting that on ourselves. I'm too busy, I'm too this, I'm too that, whatever. Exactly. So thank you, Ukraine, that's awesome. So the reason why we don't get things done that probably are, are important to us, cleaning my room or keeping something clean or doing something in your work or for your kids or running an errand for yourself is important to you probably, but you put it off because you make an excuse or you put it in your head that it's going to be too big of a task, it's too much to do, um, you know, it's just too complicated, it's going to take too long, I can't do it, I don't have time. So that's something that in our heads we put on ourselves and it really limits us, you guys. It limits your, your personal life, it limits your business and you have to stop doing this in 2016 if you want to be successful, if you want to reach your goals, if you want to you know, take your business or take your life to a whole nother level, to the next step or to reach your goal or dream or whatever it is that you have planned out for 2016, you've got to get rid of these excuses and stop putting things in your head, okay? 
Exactly. Exactly. So I know. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to meet you guys at conference. It's going to be awesome. Um, we have a conference in Tampa. It's going to be so exciting. You guys should all make it out. It's going to be amazing. It'll totally change your business. Um, hey, Brazil. That's awesome. Welcome. Uh, share with your followers. We're talking about why we procrastinate. Um, I'm not a psychologist at all. I just um, work for a health and wellness company. And um, I've been doing it for about almost four years in March. So, yes. Oh, my gosh. I would love to meet you, girl. Um, so, I... Natalie is awesome, you guys. You should follow her if you're not. Um, so what I want to encourage you guys to do to, to stop procrastinating is to stop putting the, that limit in your head. Stop, you know, stop thinking it's too big of a task. Or, or if you're not, if you haven't joined or, you know, if you're, if you're um, thinking about joining the business or if you have potentials that are thinking about joining but they haven't, it's in their head, you guys. They're thinking, I don't know about the wraps. I don't know about the company. I don't know, um, you know, what to do. I don't know how to run my own business. I don't know how to make this be successful. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm a double diamond right now. Um, my goal is presidential by May. So let's pray for that. I just, I'm claiming it and believing it. Um, but you know, we've got to stop procrastinating and, and putting things on ourselves that are not true. And we have to share with our potentials. Look, you don't have to know everything. You don't have to be an expert in this. You just learn as you go and it's super simple. It's super easy and it's a lot of fun. You know, you don't have to, to, you know, know everything or have all of your ducks in a row. I, I love, you know, when people are super organized and, and, um, super, you know, like have everything, you know, planned out, but you don't have to have that or, or be super prepared to do this business and work it and be successful in it. Okay. And I just want to encourage you guys today, stop trying to figure everything out and just start, just start doing stuff. Just start sharing and just start, um, you know, get in this business. It's $99. You guys, tax season is coming up. Thank you so much. Um, you know, tax season is coming up and they're going to have a little bit of extra income to play around with. You guys really need to understand the importance of stop procrastinating. Stop thinking in your head that things are too hard or it's too complicated or, you know, I, I can't start because I don't know anybody that would do this or I don't know everything about the company. I don't know how to, you know, do social media or whatever it is that you're, the excuse is that you're putting in your head. Stop doing that. You're limiting yourself. You can do anything that you put your mind to. And what happens is you'll get in and you'll find out, you know, a lot of times people will, um, we have our first goal is to get four loyal customers. And if they do that, they get $120 in free product, $150, I think in free product and, um, or 120. And so that's their first goal. And a lot of times they think, Oh, you know, I'm never going to make that. I can't, I don't know four people that will do it. Well, they get in and they get two customers and they're like, Oh my gosh, wow, that was so easy. I can totally get two more. I'm going to get seven more. I'm going to get 10 today. I am 27 years old and I do this full time for my home. I work for my home. I'm actually working for my phone right now. Um, and I, you know, I have a huge team. We've actually, um, just exploded last year was amazing. I have a wonderful team that is just so awesome. I have some great leaders. Um, but you guys truly need to start sharing this with your teams and with your potentials. Put, stop putting things in your head that, that limit yourself and block your success. Just go out there and do it. If you have a goal, if you have a dream, you have to do whatever it takes. So, you know, I wanted to talk about that and I wanted to share that with you guys because it's been on my mind since a, a couple of days ago. I uh, was reading a little bit and kind of, you know, trying to, to break my procrastination, you know, stop putting things in your head that are not true. Marco, hey. So if you guys can try that for this 2016 year, it's going to be amazing. I'm just telling you, um, it will truly, oh, Marco, love you. Mwah. Everybody give Marco hearts, you guys. Go follow him. He's a crazy guy. Super fun. I am in It Works Global. Hey, thank you. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. I just blocked Soccer Mom. That's my DT, Allison. Okay. Sorry, Allison. I accidentally blocked you. I didn't mean to do that. Yes, you guys, you have to you have to step out of your comfort zone. This year is all about stepping out of your comfort zone. Stop procrastinating, start doing. Turn some there's 7 days in a week, you guys, and some day isn't one of them. You have to stop waiting for some day or this day or that day or when I do this, I'll do it or I'll try this whenever I can do this. No, just start. 
Okay, just start and, and don't look back. Okay, don't be scared. You'll figure it out on the way. There'll be somebody there to help you. Seek out the people that have been, that, that have, are, are where you wanna be. That's where you move ahead in your life is when you find people and follow them that have been where you are now and are at the place that you wanna be in the future. Find those people, follow them, ask them questions, learn from them, you know, every, anything that you can, plug into them in any way and just follow them around and do what they did. Copy them. It's okay to be a copycat as long as you're copying the right cat.